In this video, I'll go over the steps involved with testing the camshaft position sensors on the BMW E90 models. Make sure you're working on a cool engine. The intake camshaft sensor is located at the front of the cylinder head on the left side as indicated by the green arrow. The exhaust camshaft sensor is located at the front of the cylinder head on the right side as indicated by the yellow arrow. Using a scan tool, read the fault codes to determine which camshaft sensor you have to test. Shown here, the intake camshaft sensor is setting a fault code. Remove the engine covers. Working at the front of the radiator support, remove two T20 torque fasteners from the intake duct as indicated by the green arrows. Working at the intake air duct connection on the air filter housing, Using a small flathead screwdriver, release the retaining tabs on each side and pull the duct off. Normally aspirated engine is shown. For turbocharged engines, the duct on the radiator support unscrews the same as the previous step. The duct for the air filter housing is also removed the same way. The air filter housing is in a different spot. Follow the duct and release the tabs to remove the duct. Then pull the intake duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the vehicle. Green arrow. The intake camshaft position sensor is located on the left side of the cylinder head as indicated by the green arrow. Working at the intake camshaft position sensor, disconnect the electrical connector by releasing it with a small flathead screwdriver and pulling it off. Green arrow. This photo shows how and where to release the electrical connector on the camshaft sensor. Use a small flathead screwdriver, lever the tab up to release, then pull the connector out of the sensor. Terminal 1 is the sensor reference voltage, green arrow. Terminal 2 is the sensor ground, signal wire, yellow arrow. And Terminal 3 is the sensor supply voltage, purple arrow. Wiring color and the DME terminal locations may vary. Check your model against a current wiring diagram. Turn the key on, but do not start the engine. Connect your DVOM black lead to the battery negative. Place the digital voltmeter on DC volts. The red lead will be used to probe the electrical connector. Insert a back probe into terminal 2, the middle terminal. Then connect the red lead to your meter to back probe, green arrow. Rotate the engine clockwise by hand using a 22 mm socket and ratchet on the crankshaft pulley bolt. Monitor your meter for voltage to fluctuate between 5 volts to 0 as the engine rotates. If the voltage stays at 5 volts or 0 volts while you rotate the engine and does not fluctuate, the sensor is faulty. Sensor voltage should cycle twice between every engine rotation, 0 to 5 volts, then 0 to 5 volts again per full engine rotation. With the electrical connector disconnected, unsnap and remove the plastic cover, green arrow. Insert a back probe into terminal 2, the middle terminal. Then connect the red lead to your voltmeter to the back probe. Hold the sensor while moving a wrench across the tip. Monitor your meter. Voltage should fluctuate just as it should when rotating the engine by hand. In this photo, the wrench, green arrow, is away from the sensor, yellow arrow, so the voltmeter reads 5 volts. In this photo, the wrench, green arrow, is close to the sensor, yellow arrow, so the voltmeter reads close to 0 volts. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.